Question number 58. The greatest amount of air that can be exhaled from full inspiration is and the options are these. So I think most of us know the answer as it comes in different exams. So when we talk about lung volumes, there are mainly four lung volumes to explain, which basically gives the capacity of our lungs. So first we will talk about the tidal volume or TV. So it is the volume of air breathed in and out of lungs during a normal quiet respiration. So there is no signs of forceful breathing. The normal value of this is 500 milliliter or half liter. Now we will talk about the inspiratory reserve volume. Now here you can see the spike in the curve. So this spike basically signifies the forceful inspiration. So inspiratory reserve volume is an additional volume of air that can be inspired forcefully after the end of a normal inspiration. The normal value of this is 3300 milliliter that is 3.3 liter. When we do forceful expiration after a normal expiration, or basically the amount of air that can be expired forcefully after the tidal volume is the expiratory reserve volume. The normal value of this is 1000 milliliter or 1 liter. So now we are left with the residual volume. So this is the volume of air remaining in the lungs even after the forceful expiration. So this is significant because of two reasons as it helps to aid the blood in between breathing and during expiration and it maintains the contour of the lungs. So the normal value of residual volume is 1200 milliliter or 1.2 liter. Now we will talk about the capacities of our lungs. So first is the inspiratory capacity which basically signifies the total of tidal volume and the inspiratory reserve volume. So if you define this inspiratory capacity is the maximum volume of air that is inspired after a normal expiration now we will talk about the vital capacity. So vital capacity is the maximum volume of air that can be expelled out forcefully after a deep or maximal inspiration. So vital capacity is equals to inspiratory reserve volume, tidal volume and the expiratory reserve. The third capacity of lungs is the functional residual capacity. So it basically signifies the volume of air remaining in the lungs after a normal expiration. So it includes the residual volume and the expiratory reserve volume. Now the total lung capacity which is the volume of air present in the lungs after a deep or maximal inspiration. It includes all of the four volumes that is IRB, TV, ERB and RB. So the answer is option B that is vital capacity.